We're going to have a shave and we're going to play Guess the Razor coming up next. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for joining me again. I really do appreciate you sharing your time with me. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out the other videos. Look around. We talk about all things traditional wet shave here. Please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, we're going to play Guess the Razor for this shave. Today, I'm going to use a razor. Uh, I'm not going to reveal it right now. I'm going to give you a few clues as we go along and let's see if you can guess what I'm going to be using before I do the big reveal right before starting that shave. So I will give you clue number one right now. I've got about two days worth of growth on my face. So maybe that'll kind of give you a clue as to what razor I'm going to be using. We're going to kick it off with uh, Trader Joe's moisturizing uh, shave cream. We're going to use this as a pre-shave. This is honey mango. I really like this as a pre-shave. Very, very slick. I'm also going to be using, uh, boy, because this pairs up really, really well with it, uh, Phoenix Shavings Atomic Age Bay Rum. Boy, is this a wonderful Bay Rum scent, and it, it really goes well with the uh, honey mango scent from the Trader Joe's shave cream. Uh, and I've got some hot water on, on top of the puck right now, warming things up. I'm going to use my brush scuttle to keep things nice and warm. I'm going to use my Amber Aerolite shaving brush. I'm going to finish it off with uh, the uh, Phoenix Shaving uh, Alum Block, the Dry Dock System, the No Slip Grip. Uh, I'm going to finish after that. We're going to have some aftershave, the Bay Rum aftershave, and also the Star Jelly. Uh, atomic Age, uh, Star Jelly, Atomic Age, uh, Aftershave. Boy, looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this shave. It has been so hot and humid the last few days. And I've got just two days worth of growth for this specific shave. And, and uh, boy, I'm looking forward to taking it off. So the razor I'm going to use should do a very good job in taking off two to three days worth of beard growth. Now, here's clue number two. It's a razor that I've talked about several times, but I've never used it on camera. So this is going to be the first time I'm using this specific razor on camera. So before we go any further, let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. You know, I am going to take this here and put it in the sink. So one more splash. Yeah, that helps. That helps. All right, here we go with the Trader Joe's pre-shave cream. Just a little bit. That's about all I'm going to need right there. That's it. That's all I'm going to need. And working it in, I find, really helps to lift the whisker. It is very, very slick. So this pre-shave adds that nice level of slickness. And with the aggression rating of this razor, it's nice to have that slickness. Well, there's another clue for you. Okay. Let me rinse my hands off because, wow, that, that is very, very slick. Okay. So let's get this... Uh, Amber Air Light brush here, and let's load this up. Oh, I love this scent. I absolutely love this scent. And again, it pairs up well with the honey mango. Uh, in my opinion, really. I, I really like the two together. I took a nice hot shower. Oh, boy, it was great. And I'm so looking forward to getting rid of this, <laughs> this hair growth. I just don't like it on these hot, muggy days. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's nice and warm. Oh, that's marvelous. Okay, what else can I tell you about the razor? It's lightweight. It's not heavy, but boy, 
it gives you a very efficient shave. Okay, have you figured it out yet? I'm going to get a little more water. Okay, I'll give you another clue. Made in North America. How about that? I should say precisely made in North America. How about that? It's a precision made razor. Made and manufactured in North America. Have you figured it out yet? Well, while you're thinking about that, Boom! Lather! Wow! Oh man, I love, I just love Phoenix shaving soap. This is uh, CK1. And uh, boy, I, I use these ingredients with the razor that I'm going to use for this shave the other day, and it was just marvelous. So I waited another couple days, two or three days, before doing this on camera. And, uh, Okay, we're all set. This is going to go into the brush scuttle, and we're all set. Okay, the uh, final clue is the blade I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using an Astro blade. All right, now do you know what it is? Okay, let's go over the clues. I got two days worth of growth. Uh, let's see, what else did I say? It's lightweight. It's made in North America. Uh... Yeah, I'm using an Astro razor blade. There was another clue in there. I can't, I can't remember. Uh, I apologize. All right, there it is right there. The Astro razor. I think this is the giveaway right here. This is a giveaway right here as to what razor I'm using. Okay, there's the Astro blade. Okay, I'm going to set that down right here on my towel, and I'm going to show you the razor. Okay, one last time to take a guess. Take a guess. Okay, here's the razor. Three, two, one. The Henson Medium. That's right. I'm using the Henson Medium. I've talked about it. I use the Henson Mild all the time because that's my daily driver. But this one is rated a little higher in aggression or somewhat higher in aggression than the Henson Mild. So we are using this for our shed. And again, here's the blade, the Astro blade. And we're gonna put it right here on that cap like that. And here's the base plate with that thrust bearing right there. Again, this is precision manufactured, aircraft quality aluminum. The end tabs of the blade are enclosed. I'm just gonna snug that up like that. There we go, and that's, that's wonderful. Lightweight, very maneuverable. Very efficient, really high efficient, a smooth, smooth shave. It has that T-shaped razor head and that angle built right into it, so it allows you to find that blade edge very, very easily. That 30 degree angle's right there. So we're gonna heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. All right, a little swirl to bring things to their proper temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that is just slicing through the two, two and a half days worth of beard growth. No problem at all. I mean, that is marvelous. I really appreciate that extra slickness from the Trader Joe's shave cream. Oh, that's terrific. That really is terrific.
Boy, that is just taking it down wonderfully well. And it gets up underneath the nostrils on that north to south pass with the grain uh, wonderfully well. I mean, if you're going to, if, uh, if you have a Henson razor and, you know, you only do one pass, boy, it's going to get everything underneath there. Oh, man, that's fantastic. Fantastic. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. You know what? That is pretty amazing. That's a socially acceptable shave right right there. Two, two and a half days, two to two and a half days worth of beard growth. And I'm already at a socially acceptable shave level from this razor. It really is very, very efficient. But there is a wonderful, wonderful smoothness to it. All right, we're going to lather up for pass number two. And boy, is that lather nice and warm. Boy, is that nice. I think this brush scuttle is one of my favorite things. And I am really, really enjoying this Atomic Age Bay Rum, the Honey Mango. Oh, just a great combination. I love using the cube, but every once in a while I want to mix things up. And yeah, good, good combination. And this Amber Aerolite brush, uh, just perfect size, perfect knot for today's shave. Boy, just wonderful. Now, pass number two is usually my money pass. This tells me if my shave is complete. The Henson Medium, for me, is pretty much a two-pass razor. Uh, and I suspect, even with just, uh, even with two, two and a half days worth of growth, it's probably going to end up being a two-pass shave. Maybe two passes and a little bit of touch-up, we'll see. But here, let's get on with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grade. Around the chin with no, no problem whatsoever. Oh, is that smooth? Boy, is that smooth. Really did a great job on the chin. Terrific. Okay, I slipped up right there. That's my fault. I slipped up. That's not the fault of the razor. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pass number two done. We're going to go ahead and rinse and we'll take care of that. That's very, very slight. It's not a problem, but it also gives me an opportunity to show you how the good line, uh, this is the instant Nick care, how this works. Uh, a good opportunity for that. Like I say, this is a little more aggressive than the uh, mild, but again, I think that's operator error on my part. All right, uh, let's rinse. Uh, pass number two done. Let's rinse. Oh yeah, I'm done. Boy, that is really close and smooth. And yeah, that little guy there. Yeah, well, it is a higher level of aggression than the mild. Uh, boy, it did a great job. It did. We're going to take care of that with the Allen Block and the uh, the Good Line uh, Instant Nick Care. It should just shouldn't be a problem at all. 
Um, again, another really good opportunity to show you how that works. We're going to do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Yeah, needed some, needed several splashes to get to get rid of that slickness, a lot of nice slickness there. Now, we're going to use the cold water to close the pores, and that should, that should close up. Hopefully with the cold water, then the Allen block, then the Nick, could be a good line, uh, instant Nick care. We'll see how it works. It's great, like I said, it's a good opportunity to show you how it works. All right, here's the cold water rinse. Okay, I splashed some extra cold water there to kind of help that along. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. That's fine. That's fine. That's, boy, that's, that's a close shave. That really is. That is very, very close. All right, you can see it there still. Okay, we're going to use the Allen block. Run under some cold water here. See what kind of feedback we get. We're going to get some feedback there for sure. All right, here we go. Let's see if that closes that up. There is, there are, there is some zinging, and there is some zinging right there. But there's some nice bracing too, and there's no real stinging, but there's some some zinging and some nice bracing. And look, it looks like it's looks like it's closing up. It looks like it's very, very slight. Very, very slight. It's closing up. So that's just the yellow block is closing up. So we're going to use the the, uh, the the Nick Care stick as well. Here is the dry dock system. There is the Allen block. Let the air in the room do the rest of the job. Now let's get this guy here. This is different than a styptic pencil. Styptic pencil. You know, you'll take this out here like this, I'll show you this, and then you'll wet the tip of this under some cold water, you'll dab it on there, and it'll just, it'll really seal up that nick, and you'll have a, a white powder residue left over. Uh, this one has a little rollerball on it, and uh, see that little rollerball there, and you just apply this, I'm just going to shake it up a little bit, you're going to apply it, you can see it's just a little, you know, just a little bit right there, okay, so... We're going to go ahead and just apply this. And it dries on clear. Like that. And it seals it up. How about that, huh? I mean, it, <laughs> very, 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 very slight. A little slip up on my part. Again, the blade exposure is a little more than the um, than the Henson Mild that I like to use. I don't think that would have happened with the Mild, but then again, I think with two to three days worth of growth, this is going to be, for me, a three, three passes and maybe even a little bit of touch-up, given the fact that it's two to three days worth of growth. You know, your miles may vary, but boy, this really is uh, a higher level of aggression than the Mild. The Medium is a higher level of aggression. Uh, it is a terrific razor. It is smooth. Uh, there is a deceptive smoothness to it because you may not realize how close you're shaving. Certainly, a third pass for me, even with two to two to three days worth of beard growth, would be um, really getting in the area there where, thank goodness I'm using an album block to knock down a little bit of that irritation because I think that would be generated from this. That's that's how my skin reacts to this because I am a fair skinned individual. If your beard and skin are a little more demanding, uh, then this, this would be uh, probably three passes for you. But this is a two pass razor for me. It does a great job. And look, that's just healing up very, very nicely. And I would suspect in probably another, oh, I don't know. 20 minutes or something, it would be, it'll be imperceptible. But it was a little bit of operator error. I slipped up. 
uh, a little bit. But again, the blade exposure is a little more on the medium than it is on the mild. Now, if you go to their product page and you look at all the specs on the mild and the medium, they explain all this to you. It is the, 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 the blade exposure and the aggressive level of these razors is different than traditional safety razors. Let me put it to you that way. And it's something that I can't explain uh, just, you know, off the top of my head. Others are probably others that can do a better job of that. But go to their product page and they explain it all. Uh, talk about the, you know, the T-shaped the, the, the razor head and the blade exposure and the angle and why the medium is a little more aggressive. And they give you a chart there. Last time I was there, they gave you a chart as to which razor would work best for you. Mild is a daily driver for me. This one I'll pull out every once in a while with two to three days worth of beard growth and two passes, I'm done. So that's kind of where I'm rating these. And again, you know, that Nick, <laughs> it's, it's sealed up. I mean, it's very, very slight. I think it looked worse than what it was. But I'm glad, in a way, I'm glad it happened because it allowed me to show you the Allen Block in action and also this uh, good line uh, Nick Care. Uh, this was $3.25 at CVS on sale. It was 50% off. I think it's worth $3.25. I don't know if it's worth $6.50, which is the full retail price. But uh, I'm going to stop by. If they have this on sale again at $3.25, I'm going to buy a couple of these because I think it's very, very good. And it has the advantage of uh, dry and clear. Okay, so we're going to use the Atomic Age Bay Rum Aftershave. It's going to shake some of this in there. Boy, that's that's marvelous. That is a wonderful, wonderful scent. Bay Rum, Atomic Age Bay Rum Aftershave and Cologne. I just love this scent. It's just absolutely terrific. And for upstairs, I did a head shave yesterday. A little bit of star jelly. And that's what we're going to use about that much right there. That's this again, it's just a wonderful scent. Terrific. Great shave, really, really terrific shave. I hope that you were able to guess the razor before I revealed it. My apologies for the little bit of slip up, but again, that allowed me to show you the uh, the Goodline product here, and it worked. It worked very, very well. I mean, look at it. You can't even see. Maybe maybe a little bit of a tinge of maybe a little bit of redness there, but I'm excited at how well that worked. And you know what? It's going to happen every once in a blue moon. You might slip up. Uh, whatever. Uh, and uh, I did slip up a little bit there. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad that I have these great, great products to uh, to kind of make up for those slight errors there. But uh, yeah, this uh, this razor is at a higher level of aggression than the mild. Uh, this is probably, uh, not probably, this is a two-pass razor for me. I don't know that this is a daily driver. The last time I used it was about two and a half days ago. I'm using it again. I don't know if I could use this every single day. Uh, perhaps, I might be able to. The one thing that is so distinctive about this, it is so smooth. You get a lot of blade feel with the medium versus the mild. The mild doesn't have as much blade feel as the medium, obviously, because there's going to be more blade exposure here. But both of them are really, really very, very smooth. And this one is really smooth. And again, I think it's deceptively smooth because you are getting a really close shave. I mean, you know, it's surprising after two passes, it's going to be BBS for me. Really, it really, it really will be BBS. It's an amazing. This is really <laughs> amazing, amazing razor. These Hensons are really good. Whether you get the, the medium or the mild, uh, they're both great. Again, this is a two pass razor that I can use for some really, really heavy beard growth. And it just does a great job. Two passes takes it down. No problem at all. Uh, this is a three pass razor. The mild is a three pass razor for me, a daily driver. I can use this every single day. So that's the difference between the two of them uh, as it relates to, to my shave and my skin. And again, you know, I don't blame that little hiccup there on the, uh, 
on the razor. That was operator error on my part when I was laying it down there. I think I, when I was laying it down, I think I went like this a little bit, just a little bit, and I shouldn't have. I just slipped up a little bit. But nice to know that it's healing up nicely. It's sealing up. It's healing up. And, uh, you know, I guess I can say no nicks, no cuts, no irritation, uh, because uh, for the record books, uh, you know, you don't, nothing there. It's great. And again, it gave me an opportunity to show you the good line shave nick care. So that's it. The Henson Medium. I hope you were able to guess it early on uh, in that little game we played. It's a really terrific razor if you have a more demanding beard. Uh, you know, this might be a great, great fit for you. Me, the mild is the perfect daily driver for me. I'm glad I have this one as well for those times when I have some really, really heavy beard growth. I just want to do two passes. Uh, boy, this does a really, really nice job. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we can be yelled the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George, on the cartoons, on the videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out um, Vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ray, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.